What's, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy Glass City Sneakerhead. Uh, just wanted to make a short, a little video real quick. I uh ended up picking up. Sorry, something was on my nail. I ended up picking up the uh True Blue Threes. Got them at Dicks, Dicks LJs now. They just got a contract with Jordan or Nike, however you want to put it. But yeah, I ended up getting a pair. Real clean shoe. I needed these for to uh complete my new generation of the Nike Air, so called OG, but they really ain't OG Air Jordans. They ain't have to be remakes because the leather, the leather, the quality ain't the same as from back in the 90s and, and uh, the early 2000s. But uh, still a cool shoe. I like it because I just like the Nike Air on the back. And I like the red. Like a lot of people don't like the uh, the red right here. But I like the red. So I like how how that sits. The shoe's real clean. I don't know when I'm going to break them out. I will. Uh, they real comfortable. They fit true to size. So just in case a person doesn't have them, any of y'all don't got these. If you do end up getting a pair, a, re, a re, retail pair, or whatever, UA, I don't know. Because they say UA is not fake for real. It's just because they're not written off by Nike. But uh, if you're able to get a pair, they do fit true to size. So just so you know that. Uh, but yeah, and then I got my fours. I'm just showing you all my Nike Air. These basically all the Nike Airs that came out. Unless you want to include the band one, which I don't have. But uh. I'll try to get those later on. Resale's crazy on those, but as you can see, I got them all. I got them all. Every pair. Three, four, five, six. Well, yeah, five. Well, wow, I got that like that. Uh, that's how that's supposed to go. Like this. In order. So. Three, four, five, and six. You know. I go to front view. Yeah, I got them all. Um, fortunate enough to be able to do it. I was working a good job and could afford these shoes because 220 plus tax, 235, 240, whatever you want to say, is a lot for some shoes, especially when it ain't made out the same uh, material and all that. But if you're a sneaker fan, a fan of the Jordan brand, fan of the OG colorways, and wasn't able to get them back in the day because you was too young or your parents couldn't buy them for you, well, you can at least get these, you know what I'm saying? If if you want to, some people say it's a waste of money, but, you know, you like what you like, you buy what you buy, you rock what you rock, same with everything else that people do. Hey, it ain't like I'm on drugs or nothing or doing something that's going to kill me, so it is what it is. Um, it's some, let me turn this down, it's this nigga I'm listening to and he talking about how people pay too much for you. Shut the fuck up, bro, we don't care. You know, so I hate people that do that. I always want to talk about what a nigga buying in his pocket. It's my money. If, if I can buy him, I can buy him. Don't worry about that. Y'all niggas need to quit bashing Jordan, especially black people. I know Jordan don't do shit for the community or whatever, however y'all want to put it, but y'all ain't doing shit either. We're running y'all fucking mouth. Half of y'all. So, you know what I'm saying? I don't want y'all coming at me about what I spend my money on. I got it like that. You feel me? If I want to do that, I can do that. Don't question me. What you spending your money on? Drinks? Fucking your liver up? And kidneys and all that? Showing your kids that's what you do so they can learn. I read for my kid to, to buy these shoes then kill itself with alcohol and stuff. You know what I'm saying? So I don't want to hear all that about what you spend your money on. Because guess what? Everybody got a habit. Guess what? Everybody wasting money nowadays. And guess what? You only live once so you might as well do what you want to do. Because if you, if you couldn't get them, you're going to wish you did. Or, you know what I'm saying? So I don't knock nobody for what they do. Yeah, drinking cool and in moderation. Collecting sneakers, that's cool and in moderation. It can be, go overboard. You know what I'm saying? If you don't know what you're doing, anything can in the moderation. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, respect what people buy with their money. Respect people as far as that. You, if, if you ain't putting no money in my pocket and helping me or teaching me some type of financial stability that can get me some more money, then don't be telling me what I should do with my money. Because you ain't doing nothing but talking. You ain't helping me. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, I ain't want to come to preach or go on a rant, but uh, 
yeah, so finally got my threes, uh, got my fours, got my fives, and I'm waiting for the uh, black cement threes that come out in 2018. They already showed the early uh, uh, um, showing of those, and they will be dropping in early 2018. I don't know if within the first couple, first couple months of 2018, but we do know that they are going to drop. So be expecting some more Nike Air remakes, OG remakes to um, be coming in 2018. Um, I think we got an off-white three coming out too this year in a couple months too. I heard there's rumors and speculations of that, but uh, yeah. So that's what we got though. All that you know, these threes is just so plush and nice, man. I, I love these threes. I only want to wear them. But you know, inside you got Nike Air. Inside, boom, we got Nike Air. Inside, boom, we got Nike Air. Inside, boom, we got Nike Air. You know, this is what we do, man. We stay fresh with our kicks, man. You know, uh, and I got lots more kicks to show y'all. Like, you know, this is just a couple. You know, y'all might see some of the same shoes, but I got a lot more kicks than this. You know, I just don't show all my kicks, man. But I just wanted to make this quick video. You know, what I'm saying I'm getting ready to go watch that uh, Canelo and uh, Chavez fight today. I'm a big boxing fan, you know. Uh, so I'm about to go see that at the movie theater. They got it at my movie theater. If it's I don't know for people who is boxing fans that do listen to me, I ain't got a big crowd. But if you are, they do show them at movie theaters. I don't know what states, if it's select states or what, but they do show them for about twenty dollars instead of paying sixty five dollars for pay per view. So just to let y'all know that. Um, but yeah, y'all, if any of y'all can, you know what I'm saying, get y'all um, OG game up, you know. Your Will Hall won't say OG, but OG remake game up, you know. That's what she went to, you know. Might as well try to collect the originals. I want I want to um, collect all bread colorways. I want to get into that. The only bread colorway I got is these five, so that's the OG remake. Um, but I want to get into, like, bread colorways and stuff like that. But um, I know y'all guys will be ready for the Baron 11s. Hopefully, I can cop a pair of them. But, um, yeah, this your boy. Glass City, Sneakerhead, or GCS, however you want to call it, coming at y'all, man. Make sure y'all like, subscribe to my channel. Uh, help me. Uh, keep being able to push content. The more subscribers I get, the more motivated I am to keep doing. You know, I'm motivated regardless of this. It's a boost, you know. But I appreciate the people that follow me, that's sticking with me, helping me, uh, watching my content. Appreciate what I do. Showing something positive that we can do. Instead of showing this negativity that we see every day. Yes, we all indulge in negativity, but we do need some type of form of positivity that kids can gravitate towards. Um, that ain't about violence and all that, if you get what I'm saying. But uh, shouts out to all the real sneakerheads, man. That's out here telling the truth, educating people. I'm about to start some educational series, too, about the sneaker game, man. It's a lot of fakes going around, man. You can't always uh go to these boutiques and stuff thinking you're picking up reels because you're picking up UAs, which... Most UAs aren't even fake, though. It's just that they're not signed off or written off by Nike or not sold at a Nike retail store, so therefore they are called UAs. They're called shoes from retail stores. They're called retail pairs because they're sold at a retail facility that is licensed by Nike. So when you see these remakes of these shoes, a lot of times they be real. You can be able to tell fakes if you know fakes. It won't even have, a, it won't even have that fresh sneaker smell because it won't have that same glue that they use and all that. And the quality would be off real bad. But, yeah, that's another video. But I'll catch y'all um, later. Make sure y'all subscribe and everything. But uh, it's your boy Glass City Sneakerhead. And I'm out.